If someone was to ask me to name a company in this industry that I think has been on the gas the past few seasons, I bet they'd be pretty surprised to hear me say Argo. A change in leadership a few seasons ago has seen a new direction and new focus on quality, performance, and innovation. But it would be completely forgivable if you hadn't even noticed. The Argo itself is a pretty difficult vehicle to make look new. It's probably the best example of form-following function that I can think of. But while the form will likely always remain fairly similar to what it has always been, a long list of improvements and new technology has drastically changed how the vehicle functions and opened up a world of new possibilities for both work and play. Argo invited a select group of media to their 2019 dealer show and new model intro, and we all came away with a reignited excitement for Argo. This is mostly due to their new flagship model, the Aurora. Of course, there are improvements across the entire lineup, some very minor, others more substantial. But at the end of the day, all of those improvements are to the old platform. The Aurora is an all new Argo, so that's what we're gonna focus on here. So what's different? Well, first off, the overall direction and intended use of the Aurora is different than other Argo models. Yes, Argos are fun, and they have always been fun to just ride for the fun of it. But the reality is Argos have always been thought of as more for the hunter or wilderness explorer than for the average recreational rider. Part of this is due to how Argo promotes and markets their products, but the truth is the majority of it is simply due to how the Argo rides and handles. In a nutshell, it's just not very good. The introduction of beadlock wheels that allowed for lower tire pressures made a big difference in ride quality, but the handling was still an issue, and this is where the Aurora is really changing the game. Argo's new APS, or Argo Progressive Steering System, is the result of a partnership with very well-known and highly respected brake manufacturer, Hayes. The system is actually quite simple in that it involves only a new set of Hayes calipers and master cylinders on the transmission and a progressive spring actuation system on the steering post. To put it in simple terms, when you turn the bars, you're not pushing directly on the brake master cylinder as you would have been in the past. Instead, you're pushing on a spring, which itself pushes on the master cylinder. This spring provides a consistently lighter, more linearly progressive amount of pressure on the master cylinder and therefore more smoothly modulates the braking on the transmission. The result is an Argo that turns like any typical side-by-side, -side, in a smooth arc instead of a segmented corner of abrupt turns. At any speed, APS makes the Argo more pleasant to drive, but it's not until you get the vehicle moving faster that you really begin to see how this system makes for a more recreationally focused vehicle. An Argo Aurora with APS can be driven really fast and you can still have complete confidence in how it's gonna handle. The Aurora is so much more than just the new APS system though. Another massive change in this model versus the other Argo units relates to driver comfort and ergonomics. And there's more than a few changes going on here, but here's a rundown of the most important ones. For starters, you now sit on the left side of the vehicle like any other side-by-side. -side. The front seat has been moved back and sits taller on top of a new completely flat floor. The rear seat now faces forward as well. The left-hand switch gear is easier to access and use and features a starting gear push-button starting system. A finger throttle on the right side of the bars seems at first like a minor change, but after considerable seat time becomes one of those why didn't they do this sooner improvements? A new gauge cluster looks great and offers a myriad of information just like any other high performance side-by-side -side or ATV. The gear shifter has been moved off the floor up to the dash where it's in easy reach. In a nutshell, the driver and passenger experience inside the new Argo Aurora is completely new and worlds more comfortable than before. To set the Aurora apart from the rest of the Argo lineup though, the body has been completely restyled. It features a new, more aggressive look with dual projector beam headlights and modular body panels that are easier to replace if a repair is ever needed. Finally, the last big change to Argo's new 2019 Aurora is Under the Hood. An available 950 series fan-cooled EFI V-Twin produces 40 horsepower and can push the Aurora to speeds exceeding 40 miles an hour. There's lots more new and exciting goodness hiding inside the Aurora. We simply just don't have enough time to go over it all here. But the important thing for you to take away as an off-road enthusiast is this. Argo is no longer content to build the same vehicles with minor improvements year after year. They've made it very clear. The future of Argo includes a heavy helping of straight up amphibious fun. The Aurora is just the first step towards much larger goals, and after spending time with the engineers and bigwigs from Argo, as well as spending considerable time behind the bars of the Aurora, I can say with complete confidence, it's a good one.
Thanks for watching this segment of Dirt Tracks TV. For more great content, make sure you click the links or subscribe to our channel where we're always updating with new content every day throughout the week.